with Alex. Today we're going to be doing a very simple project, something that most any age can do and enjoy. Um, it's kind of a fun brain activity. It just gets your brain going. It's kind of a nice warm up for any kind of activity that you're going to do, whether it's art, math, reading. This is a really good way to get your brain warmed up um, and a fun way to do it. So let's get started. So today we're going to be making a project called Taking a Line for a Walk. Um, you're only going to need three things. You're going to need one white piece of paper. You can choose what size. Okay. You're going to need one black marker. And I'm going to go ahead and use Crayola. But you can use any kind of black marker that you want. Um, be careful with using Sharpie because Sharpie will actually go through your paper onto your table. So be careful with Sharpie. Um, but if you have something underneath your paper, you're more than welcome to use a black Sharpie. And the third thing we're going to use is some sort of oil pastel, and it's up to you what brand you go with. Um, any brand will do, but make sure that they're nice, bright colors, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so here's my paper. I'm going to start with my black marker, um, and I'm going to pick a corner, any corner that you want, um, and I'm going to start taking a line for a walk. And when I say taking a line for a walk, um, you're going to start your line and you're not going to stop. You're just going to keep going with your line. Your line can do anything you want it to as long as it never touches itself or crosses over itself. So I'm just going to keep drawing designs. I'm going to let my brain control my hand and I'm just going to keep filling the paper with any kind of design my brain wants it to without touching the other line. Okay, so once you have finished, you're going to stop in another corner. So once you have filled your entire paper, you can stop your line. So what we've created is one continuous line that fills the whole paper. So we have taken a line for a walk. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is pull out our oil pastels, okay? And we are going to use um, all the bright colors that are inside this oil pastel box. Let me show you really quick what my oil pastel box looks like. So I've got lots and lots of colors to choose from. Okay. Okay, so using our oil pastels, we're going to choose a section to start coloring. And what's going to happen is as we color, let me zoom in for a second. As we start to color, it's going to turn into a maze. So we're only going to color in the sections that are connected together. When we finish the project, what you're going to notice is that some of this will be colored and other parts are going to stay white. So we're going to start coloring. I'm going to start with a red. And you can use any colors that you want. Um, I'm always drawn to using rainbow colors in rainbow order because it always just looks so great when those colors are mixed together. So we're gonna start with red. And then once you think you have enough red, move to your next color. And I'm gonna go ahead and now use some orange. Make sure you're pushing really hard with the oil pastels. The oil pastels are used um, 
to make a solid, solid color. That's why they're so soft. You're gonna notice how soft oil pastels are. So make sure you're really using it hard to fill that whole space without any white showing, okay? I'm gonna move to yellow. And I'm just gonna keep following this same section. I'm not gonna cross over any black lines and it's just gonna guide me through this whole picture. So while I do mine, why don't you guys go ahead and do yours? dead end right here you're gonna go back and look at the picture and where is there a spot where you didn't finish so I'm gonna come all the way back up here because I see that I finished with blue here but there's still so much more I can color over here because it didn't finish yet so I'm gonna go ahead and move back up to the top up here finally hit your last um, section when you finish your line down here at the other corner your picture is done so here's my finished picture so this is how you take a line for a walk no matter what colors you use it's gonna look beautiful and if you notice some of our pictures stayed white and that's because we followed the maze all the way around the picture and it turned out just like this Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for new projects coming very soon. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for doing Art with Alex today. Bye guys. Bye.